Last time you told me that because compared to the BRICS PAC, we had been performing much better and therefore we continued to get FI money. Today the bigger question is the US Treasury yields are getting better. Money is moving to the parent country. How are you reading that? You've been such a close watcher of the debt market. What, what is the issue there? How does that throw up a potential where you may not see that kind of inflows as we saw in the past? See, this question can be answered on optimistic side or pessimistic side. As an optimist, I will say that, you know, anyway, what were we receiving from this entire global flows? I mean, our flows were $25 billion in equity side, maybe $5 billion on debt side, maybe $20 billion in FDI side. So, rounded off, give and take billion dollar here or there, we were receiving $50 billion flows. It's probably less than what Fed is purchasing from market, even in the tapering of mode. So all I need is one month's flow from what Fed is doing purchase in the market. Clearly, our ability to absorb FDI flows, FII flows is far more than what we are probably doing right now. And we should not be impacted by whether Fed comes down from $85 billion to $65 billion or so. The real question is, in the global liquidity, in the global arena, can I still be positioned as a more favorable investment destination than rest of the peer group? Of course, we are in a bad shape, but then so is everyone else. Is Brazil faring better? No, their growth rate is hovering at about less than 2%. Their yields are higher than India. Their inflation rate is higher than India. In Russia, whether the rule of law is there or not, one doesn't know. So clearly, we need to position ourselves better vis-a-vis other peer group and second we need to handle some of the issues which are kind of putting break on our economic growth. I mentioned about current account deficit. The second one which is crucial for is investment. We have to revive investment. Now there are some positive things which have started happening. I don't think so people have noticed how much power rates have come down. There are so many states which have become power surplus. I met a textile company which was loss making for last uh, almost three years in the state in the southern state for the first month last month they became profitable because power was available for full 24 hours so availability of power has improved significantly in some of the deficit state also can that be used to revive manufacturing but none of what you're saying is going to happen in the next few months all of this is going to take this are going to take longer long term. cycle this are, this are structural things which we need to change. But even if we give the direction that, yes, we are focusing on the structural changes and then aid that along with some of the cyclical things, then probably we have a better chance of reviving investor sentiment. Mm. I mean, today, you know, in stock market, we have seen companies who are quoting at market cap, which is less than the cash they have raised in last couple of years. Whatever the forefathers built has been discounted by market to zero, but whatever they have raised by way of cash in just last few years have been discounted to half the value. Clearly, the prices looks almost unimaginary. In the Teji market, when the high prices were looking unbelievable, today, even in Mandi market, some of the prices look unbelievable. <laughs>